We've got some guys uh, waiting in the wings. Uh, you know them well. Let's go ahead and bring them in. I'm talking about Roger Saffold, Amani Hooker. Who else is in there? Jeffrey Simmons, are you online? There we go. There you are. <laughs> Look at that, fellas. How you guys doing? How you doing? I'm good. <laughs> All right, fellas. Thank you for being with us. Uh, we got a big, uh, big season coming up. We just had had a poll, so I'm going to ask you guys because you're going to play them. <laughs> Who do y'all want to play the most out of the Chiefs, Bills, 49ers, or Saints? Saffold, we'll start with you. It don't matter. It don't matter to me. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Up. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right, line up. How about Amani? Who you got? Who you want the most? Um, you know, I'm gonna have to go with. I'm gonna go with Mahomes. You know, I think he's gonna sling it around, and you know, I'm trying to get you know make some plays. You know, I know he's gonna throw the ball around. <laughs> That's All right, right, so the ball's in the air. He wants to, he wants to snag it from Mahomes. All right, well, who what what have we got going on, Jeffrey? You already said. Uh, did you say yet? I'm, well, I'm looking forward back to especially my rookie year losing in that championship game. I, I you know, kind of everybody, you know how they say revenge. I, I need that revenge game back. There you All go. Right, so I like Chiefs. 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 Of course, of course, got to have the Chiefs, fellas. Uh, you know, once you've been drafted, do you pay attention to the draft while you're playing? I'm excited. Roger, how about to you? You've been in this game for a little bit. You still watching the draft? Um, you know, I, I, I definitely, I try to, but it's been, it's been less and less as the years have gone on. Um, I, I guess basically what I think is a great night for these guys. You know, congratulations to everybody who ends up getting drafted. But mm -hmm. you got to really prove your worth once you come to the team. So, the, so that's kind of how I look at it and how I've been looking at it over the years. Yeah, and for me, gotcha. um, I mean, I'm a younger guy, so and I still got guys that are still in, you know, from Iowa back in my college that are getting going to end up getting drafted. So I'm excited for them, you know, and end up, and see where they end up going. Hey, hey Jeffrey, so what was it like when you got drafted two years ago? How how were you feeling? Did you have any any butterflies? Were you anxious? Were you Upset? Uh, what, what, what was going through your mind uh, that, that the night of the draft? Um, I mean, personally, you know, I was. Um, it's one of them things where I was, like you said, I was anxious because I didn't know, um, especially dealing with my injury. I didn't know, like, was I'm because it was, you know, it was got down to 19 pick. You know, it was that draft was going and going all night. I'm like, is I'm really gonna go this night? Now, you know, I'm thinking, you know, I'm, I'm with my family. You know, everyone still telling me, like, you know, be patient. You're going to go the first night. So I'm still over there like, like, what's going on? You know, I'm, I'm like anxious. Like, is I'm going to get picked tonight or what? But when I finally get that, got that call, you know, I saw that Nashville, Tennessee number. And, man, just chills went all um, across my body. You know, I talked to um, John and Brave on the phone. And, you know, from that point on, you know, I, I uh, embraced that well, time with my – Go ahead. I'm curious. Sorry, guys, had a little technical difficulty in here. I'm curious, uh, you know, if given your positions that you play, all right, we've got uh, we've got two defensive guys here, an offensive guy. Do you want help around your position? Are you or do you worry that you're we draft an O lineman or a safety or a D lineman? Like, how do you feel watching the team operate? Um, I don't. I don't Roger, have any go first. problems whatsoever. I don't, I don't have a problem whatsoever with that. <laughs> I'm all about I'm all about uh, you know just building with the with the squad. I want to see the squad get better. Uh, you know we always talk about that team mentality on this team, and I think that we should want people to come in and help us immediately. Um, so you know I always get excited for a new group of guys to come in, and uh, the best part about it is that you now have your complete team, and now it's time to start strategizing and getting to work. Yeah, I agree yeah. with Roger. I agree, with Roger. I agree as well. Go ahead, Jeff. No, I was just saying, I agree. I mean, you know, like you said, I'm it's just whatever I think. I know um, the guys upstairs and that were braving them for, you know, whatever they think we need the most. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to whoever we draft and come in. I hope, you know, I hope they're ready to come in and work, help us win games. Yeah, and then whoever we get, you yeah, know, so you're gonna not come in and, they're going to come in and push the guy, you know, in front of you. So, you know, I don't, it's not like a, like a hateful thing, you know, we want guys to come in and compete and push the guy in front of you to make the team better. Okay, Roger, I got a question for you. You being the the elder statesman here, the veteran, what kind of advice are you going to give these rookies coming in to the fold uh, this season? Um, you know, 
I, I think the biggest thing that I could tell them that, you know, nothing is given when you're in this league. And, you know, once you get your chance, you got to take the biggest, um, you know, you got to take advantage of your opportunity. Um, you know, we're a blue collar group. Uh, you know, we work day in, day out. It's hard. Um, practice is harder than the games. Um, you know, we just have this different type of tenacity effort. Um, so if you're going to be able to success, uh, be able to have success on this team, then you're going to need to make sure that you're putting forth all that effort. Um, this, this, like I said, it's a work group. It's a smart group. Um, and everybody plays for one another. So my biggest uh, advice to the rookies is keep your head down and just keep working, work through it all. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Keep your head down, keep working. Keep working. Right, chop Coach? Wood, chop wood, chop wood, that's it. <laughs> you know, Coach here, he's uh, he's planning for the season. So I think every, every question he asks you, he's half taking notes for exactly. TSU football. So I can get my speeches together for the guys. Congratulations, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> I appreciate yeah, it. Like, I, I'm going to need you guys to come out and talk to the team for me a couple times. For sure. Absolutely. In time. Yeah. Well, uh, I know uh, John Robinson, the GM, has been uh, – obviously we're looking to get some pieces on draft night, but in the offseason he's been acquiring pieces, and especially on the defensive side of the ball. Danico Autry, Bud Dupree, you defensive guys must have liked that, right? I'm yeah, for sure that's... excited about that, um, especially up front. You know, we I think we just got some real um, dogs up front. And, you know, we played against both of them guys, and you see how dominant they are, they are and – you know, I, I'm I'm excited um, just to see how far we could go, especially with the, the type of philosophy we have on defense. Adding them two guys, I know they're gonna fit well. So, yeah. And on the back end, yeah. um, you know, we added two guys that just make plays. Um, they're aggressive. They're tenacity. You know, I could see when I was watching their highlights and their film that they just love ball, and I definitely think they're gonna help us out on deep. So, guys, describe for me the feeling in the locker room right now. Two years ago, you won the AFC Championship game. Last year, you didn't quite get as far as you liked. Um, Derrick Henry had a monster year. Uh, just, just tell me, what, what is it like, the feeling coming into the 2021 season? Um, is it Super Bowl? Is it to get back where you were? Just, just, come, just kind of give me the vibe of what's going on in the locker room right now. Um, I think it's always, always been and always going to be to win a championship. Uh, you know, no one was satisfied with the AFC championship. Uh, losing in the wild card was a great lesson for our young guys to let them know that this doesn't happen every year. That, you know, when it comes to playoff time, that we got to play above um, above our expectations. Um, we want to raise those expe same expectations this year. I know that all these guys are hungry, but, you know, it's different. You know, we didn't have one home game in our previous postseason. And then we have our first home game mm. in the wild card and you lose. So it doesn't matter. You know, it's just all about picking up your game and putting your best foot forward. And that's what we need to do collectively. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's true. Guys, I mean, like everything you hear out of the mouths is perfect. It's all team first. That's it. That's Ready it. to go for the season. I know we still got a ways to go. We got to get these guys to get through the summer and everything. I cannot wait to see you take the field again. Again, Roger Saffold, Imani Hooker, Jeffrey Simmons. Uh, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us at the That's virtual right. draft party. And I look yeah, forward to you. seeing you on the field.